Merry Meat Fiber Magicians. Welcome to another episode of Fiber Magic Friday. Today we are at Florida Pagan Gathering. And look at these beautiful oak trees that we have for inspiration. Just breathe it in. This is our little home away from home. Our little shop we have set up. And over here I'm working on something for my new book that's coming out at the beginning of uh, 2021. And Squidly here is overseeing my work. Today I'm working on hand fasting cords. I think that there's great opportunity for fiber magic when you're making your hand fasting cords or making them for a couple. Let me uh, hand the camera over to Carl the drum guy so I can show you what I've been doing. Here I took a nice piece of uh, oh, loose roving that has the silver and gold strands running through it. I took three strands and I braided them. That's for my first cord. For my second cord, I took a nice green variegated and I held two pieces together and did a nice big crochet chain. This is great for spring. It would be nice for a, a Beltane hand fasting. The third element I'm going to add to my cords is uh, eye cord okay, and that's what I want to show you how to do today. These three together will be the hand fasting cords. All right, let's start from the beginning. Woo. First you need a slip knot of course. Then we're going to chain three. All right. Then we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, and you'll have three loops on your hook. Okay. Now here's the tricky part. With your thumb and your middle finger, you have to hold these tight is you're going to take your hook out and there's nothing else holding them but your fingers. Yarn over, pull through the first one. Yarn over, pull through the second one. Yarn over, pull through the third one. And it's as if you're doing three chains simultaneously. Let me show you again. Pinch right here, hold those tight, take your hook out. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay. Now once you have done this for a while, they kind of kind of fold in on itself and it be, makes a cord. Okay. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through over pull through and this is a, a great stitch for um, putting tension into this cord because when you're doing this you can say now forever and always or maybe you want to say Carl and Alba forever <laughs> and your intention will be set right in that cord. See, it's already starting to get round. Now, once you have all three of your cords set, you're going to want to connect them somehow. You can tie a knot at intervals, or you could braid the three of them together, but what I thought I would do is take these little beads that I have. There's like a little moon. 
crescent moon, a little pearl for the full moon, and then another crescent moon. And if I sew them together, it will connect these three cords. And so at intervals along the way, maybe every six inches, I'm going to put a triple goddess symbol for the length of these cords. So these can be used as ham fasting cords. It can be saved in a shadow box for a keepsake. And then it can be taken out on anniversaries and special occasions and rededications. And I think it would be a, a perfect way to add some fiber magic to your hand fasting. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. I'm going to get back to relaxing in the woods now. I have three more days at Florida Pagan Gathering, so I'm going to enjoy all those beautiful oak trees, right, with my friend Squidly, and my hats, and my poppets. <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Merry meet, merry part, merry meet again, stay crafty, use that hashtag fiber magic on everything you put on Instagram. Bye-bye.